Alright everyone, today I'm going to be starting a series for um, C programming tutorials. Um, this won't be C++ like a lot of other people, so there will be no object orientation, just purely functional programming in C. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do if you're on Windows is download dev C++. You can Google it and you'll find it, even though it does say C++, it also works for C as well as C++ and I think some other things, I'm not 100% sure, haven't really looked into it. Um, you can find it just by googling dev C++ and you'll find it, or do you like dev C++ 5.2, that's what I have, and I'm sure you'll find the uh, newest version pretty easy that way. Now once you've done that, uh, just go to file, new, and source file, you couldn't see that but it's pretty simple as to what you do. And you should see something that looks like this, where you'll get line one, you can type here, and you get untitled one. Next thing you need to do is um, save it, or yeah, just go to file and save as. You should get something that looks like this. Go down to where it says C source files and say, or where it says C plus plus source files. Go and click C source files, so just dot C or say all known files, and then do something like youtube.c so that way it knows that it's c and not c++ and save it. Um, after that we can actually start coding so um, in this tutorial I'm just going to teach you guys how to print um, words to the screen uh, I'm not going to explain everything in this tutorial because a lot of it's going to be a little bit complicated but I will explain everything that you need to do um, in order to like understand it eventually um, but yeah for now this tutorial is just going to be how to print if I do anything else um, and I don't explain it don't worry I'll explain it in another video it's just a little bit too complicated to explain uh, right now so first thing you're going to do is a left arrow and you're going to say or my bad you're going to do a pound um, octothorpe hash tag whatever you want to say and say include um, a lot of people call it pound include as kind of like a coined term uh, for C and uh, I believe also C++ then you're going to do left arrow stdio dot h right arrow and that stands for standard input output header um, which contains functions um, in particular the printf function which we'll, we will be using in a second next um, go to a new line and type int main void uh, you don't really have to know what all that means, but basically it makes a function called main, and that's where your program will start. In a new line, you're going to make a left bracket, and then the line below that, a right bracket. Um, you can make those brackets in whatever order you want, as long as the left bracket is first, and the right curly, I guess they're actually braces, the left curly brace um, is first, and the right curly brace is second. Um, but you could have it like the first one start on the same line as the uh, main function declaration but I would not do that it's just not standard anyways in between those brackets uh, feel free to indent by one tab space I believe yeah one tab space or four spaces um, and that's again not required but it makes your code easier to read and it's kind of like the standard throughout like all of C programming um, next you're going to want to say return zero space zero and then semicolon go to the line above that and make another line uh, so that return zero is the last line um, before the right curly brace that's just some housekeeping stuff that I want to explain just like the int and void stuff now here's where we get to actually printing a word so the way to do this is to type print f which stands for print file I believe and then parentheses. Now in the parentheses you're going to do um, double quotations and then the word you would like, the sentence you would like to say. So I'll teach you guys the one that I learned first from a, a programming book and it's just hello comma world exclamation point backslash n and then you're going to close this with a another double parentheses and then outside of the right parentheses I mean, yeah my bad you're going to end it with another double quotation 
and then outside of the right parenthesis you're going to put a semicolon. Um, and this kind of teaches you guys the syntax for this. After you make a statement or like have a function used like printf and then hello world all that stuff you want to end every line with a semicolon which just tells the computer that that command is over with. Um, so here's basically what's going on. It's going to print these words exactly but backslash n actually has a special meaning in the printf function as well. All of C uh, actually. Um, backslash n means to do a new line which if we were typing in like if you're typing in a Facebook post and you press enter to go to the next line that's essentially using a backslash n and it's actually like that for almost every programming language out there um, all the ones I know that's what a backslash n is for I'm not sure if like the older ones like COBOL use the same thing or not but a backslash n if it's in a print function like this in C will always mean that you're ending it with a new character I mean not a new character, a new line so it'll print hello world and then everything else will go after that um, so great now we're ready to compile this um, now dev C++ has a nice tool up here um, move this up a little bit further um, right here this little gear with a box at the top left of it that button will compile and run your code um, you can also use this one over here which will compile it but not run it be warned though this program will close automatically after it prints hello world which will be really really fast so in order to actually see it you either need to run it in terminal or you have to use the dev c++ thing because it will stop at the end and tell you all the debugging information like if it actually returned a normal integer at the end which is why we have zero and saying that it closed right um, so I will just compile it through dev c++ it'll give you compiling uh, progress and then it'll actually run it and now you see this blank line right here that's because hello world was printed exactly like we told it to be then there was a new line so it moved all the other information down here now um, by default the C, um, dev c++ actually does add another line to it so this um, says okay start typing on this line but then they start their line with another backslash in so that's why this is this text is not below hello world. Um, so it says it exited normally. Press any key to continue and you can close it. Now if you were to run it yourself, um, and for me all this stuff ended up on my desktop, so if I open up command prompt, go into my desktop, and then let's see what we have. Okay, yeah, I named it YouTube. So if I do YouTube, yeah, YouTube, then I get hello world and a new character. Um, which then also this uh, C colon backslash users all that stuff goes there and uh, works fine now we're going to add a little bit more to this and it's going to be just to show you the backslash n so we're going to say a b c we save that and we're going to compile and run it again and you'll see right here on our new line it said a, B, C. So we see that these are not on the same line because we had a backslash N before the A, B, C. Um, just showing that it actually does do what I said it did. Um, if we get rid of it and we put a space there, save again and compile it, you'll see that everything's on the same line. And so the backslash N is a new line character. I hope that kind of shows exactly what it does because it's very important to know um, how backslash n works otherwise you may be confused whenever you see it so that's what it does um, so there you go uh, that's all I really have to show in this tutorial as far as printing we will get more in depth into printf later when we get into variables and things like that um, so get comfortable with it also what I want you guys to do before you watch the second video is mess around with backs the backslash thing basically a backslash means it's escaping that character so backslash a would try and show the special meaning for backslash a um, and so I want you guys to basically do backslash c but instead of using c replace backslash c with any other character like a b c um, d and all that until you see that it does something different um, 
and just kind of make a note of what that escape character does. And that's what these are called, are uh, escape characters. So a backslash n is a escape character for a new line. Um, ones I want you guys to look for are the tab. There's one that makes a, like, four spaces. Um, and I guess that's really the only one you need to look at now. There's also back uh, a return character which kind of does the same thing as backsla uh, backslash n except it returns um, it basically simulates exactly an enter to your computer which we will get in more more in depth about like what the difference between a new line and a return are later as well so don't worry if you guys are kind of confused about everything else I really just want you guys to focus on this right here and make sure that you can print out words fine and that you don't get any errors so it's printf left parentheses, double um, quotations, your sentence, or a string, as they will call it in um, programming, and then another ending, double parentheses, I mean double quotations, an end, a right parenthesis ending it, and then a semicolon saying that the print F statement is over with. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please press the like button. That always helps. If you want to see future videos, press the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or PM me. And um, thanks again for watching. I'll be seeing you in tutorial number two.